Hello everybody. Today we will be talking about the photon's transduction in the eye. Humans are only able to detect a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Of this spectrum, which includes waves from radio to gamma, we can only see wavelength between 700 nanometers to 370 nanometers, which is basically red to blue in the visible light. The lens of the eye, in this figure, uh, focuses light on the retina, which is the, the uh, orange region in this figure. The lens is simple lens. That means it converts or inverts the image both right to left and upside down. Our brain is used to processing these inverted images. Our retina contains, as you can see here, pigment, photoreceptors, bipolar cells, and ganglion cells. Um, light must pass through several layers of cells before actually getting to the receptor cells. However, this is not a problem because cells are mostly clear. Behind the receptor cells we have a layer of pigments, which is this black region. This pigments, the, the function of these pigments is to absorb light that is not captured by these cells to prevent light scattering. Now I would, I would like to, to, to emphasize that actually light and information are opposite. So if we imagine light coming from here, which is basically from, that, from the ganglion here all the way up to the choroid, well it gets absorbed and then the info is the opposite where it comes down from the pigment to the bipolar, sorry to the photoreceptors, then to the bipolar then to the ganglion cells, which send its axons down here. Um, now looking at the bigger picture here, but by rotating, we will, we will look at the choroid epithelium here, photoreceptors represented by rods and cones. Cones are, are responsible for light, rods are mostly low spatial resolution and has to do with motion. Also, we have the horizontal cells, this pink guy here, and the bipolar cells, the blue figure, and emocrine cells, and um, ganglion cells, which send its axons all the way down to make the optic nerve, which, which, which because of the dense uh, traffic of these axons, we have the blind spot because you have too many axons to allow room for receptive cells at this point. Another reason it's important in the anatomy of the eye is the fovea, which is actually a dense region that has a lot of uh, cones, which make a high uh, vision acuity, which you can, you, can, you can see things better. Um, I would like to now emphasize on one of these rods and make it bigger. Um, as, as you can see here, the rods contain discs in, the, in its outer segment. These discs have, if you, if you cut these cell membranes, you'll feel there's a, some kind of receptor or integral protein makes a G, GPCR receptor, called, uh, which is here uh, in, in pink, called rhodopsin, or opsin for rods. Those rhodopsins, which are like receptor GPCRs, contain um, a very important molecule that is actually where light uh, works. So this molecule is called retinal. Now emphasizing on the retinal, we can see that we have two isomers of retinals. We have the 11 cis retinal and we have the old trans retinal. Um, when light hits, the cis retinal becomes the isomer all trans uh, retinal. And we can see that the opposite of this reaction made by the enzyme isomerase, which goes from all trans to 11 cis. Um, I would like to talk also about the major differences in, um, in the, between cones and rods. 
So rods make convergent connection with the bipolar cells, as you can see here. How these rods make conversion, they converge to, to the bipolar cells, which make them low in spatial resolution and high in sensitivity. Versus the um, cones, which are high in spatial resolution and low in sensitivity, have a divergence. Um, one, one other thing that I would like to talk about is all the uh, when light hits, bipolar cells have hyperpolarization rather than depolarization, which is kind of counterintuitive. Versus in the dark, we will have a depolarization. And they're all graded. Until you become here where you have action potential, the only place you have action potential in the eye is at the ganglion cell. I will talk more about this in another uh, video. I hope that was helpful and um, thank you. Take care.